What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Revival. My name is JJ, and I went to Retropalooza 2023. First off, uh, I want to apologize, obviously, for the long hiatus uh, of, uh, well, semi-long. I think I've taken this much time off before, but I uh, I just kind of, like, ran into a whole bunch of, like, just adult life stuff that was occupying most of my time, and that combined with, I'll be honest with you, some motivation issues <laughs> in a lot of cases uh, to do more, um, it just, just hasn't gotten there, but I've, I've gotten the itch lately, and especially after going to... Uh, the convention again this year and meeting up with Adrian and Amy like I do every year um, it was a good time and I was like you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back and I had quite a few games to uh, to talk about and bring up um, most of well probably about half of these I got at Retropalooza the other half just bits and pieces that I saw on sale and, and whatnot in other places that I had been wanting for a while but didn't want to pay full price for so um, yeah so uh, you know what before I get into the Retropalooza stuff Really quick, I want to just bring up something that I, I recently got. Um, this is a carrying case for it, if you uh, have any guesses. But um, I'm not a huge portable gamer, but when I do, I like to be able to have a lot of options. And this seemed like a really, really good way to uh, be able to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games um, all in one place. And it just, the screen is beautiful. The system itself is gorgeous, and I was just like, you know what, I, I think I'm going to pull the trigger on this and, and, and grab one. So, last December, I ordered an analog pocket, and it finally came in. And it's so cool, and I'm so happy that I finally have this thing. Um, and I, I, I can't wait, because I've got one or two uh, Game Boy games on my list for next year, um, which that video will be coming out soon as well, um, to knock out. So I'm really excited to be able to, to get to use this, and... and play those games on there and stuff, and it's just, it's a really, really cool little system. Um, so, super, super happy to have that. Okay, so, I, I'll go ahead and start with the convention first. Um, this year's Retro Palooza was, it was expensive. Like, we were kind of expecting, because a lot of game prices are starting to drop, um, ever since, you know, COVID kind of, like, settled down and everything. Um, they, the overall prices have been slowly dropping, but you wouldn't think that, having gone to this convention, I think um, everybody that was selling games there was kind of just expecting to get back to selling uh, at con prices. And, and, you know, I'm not begrudging them or anything like that, but it is not what I expected. Um, and it, it was it was quite a bit more than I wanted to pay in a lot of cases. So, funny thing is, and I, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember which is which, so I'm just going to kind of just do them all at once. But... I only bought Wii U games while I was there, because as I mentioned before, I'm trying to get a complete run of that system, and I think with the group that I got, um, I'm up to like 99 games out of like 167 or something like that that there are in there for the North American releases, um, so I'm super excited to have gotten these, but at the convention itself, I only bought four, um, <laughs> which was kind of funny. The others, we found a local game store that we went to that had just opened like six months prior, and it was awesome. And they had a whole bunch of games. And I was like, I'm looking and I see a couple of them. And I'm like, you know what? I need these two. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Any game they have that's under 15 bucks that I need from the, for the Wii U, I'll go ahead and just snag it here. Because most of the games that I need now in, in for that full run are, are up there. Um, and there ended up being 10. So... <laughs> <laughs> there actually were a couple more, but I stopped at ten. Um, I was like, "This is this is enough." Um, you know, some were were fifteen bucks, some were quite a bit cheaper than that and stuff. So I got a, a nice, a really really good deal on, on a lot of these games, and I was happy with that. And the games that I got at the convention, I was able to talk down uh, the uh, the vendors on both of those. Uh, the last game that I bought, which was um, uh, Resident Evil, uh, <laughs> I go, 
the guy wanted 25, and I, I asked him if he'd take 20. And he just like, I, he was just in a good mood, apparently. Because he looks and he goes, for you? Because I like your smile? Absolutely. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. Uh, so I got it for 20 bucks. It was nice. So I'll just kind of like go over these really quick. Like, this is, anytime I bring up the Wii U games that I get, this is typically how it goes. I don't know if I'll ever get to these. I mostly collect to play, but with something like this where I'm just trying to get a complete run because I think it's cool, um, uh, I, I, I don't plan on playing a lot of these. Um, oh, also, uh, speaking of complete runs, I'm so glad I finished my Nintendo Power complete run um, because those magazines were everywhere there, and they were selling for like 15 to 20 bucks a pop or more, which for most of mine, I did not pay anywhere near that, so... Apparently, they're becoming a hot collector's item, um, at least from what I could see and what I could tell there. So I'm so glad that I finished that run. So if you are looking to get those magazines, um, start now because <laughs> uh, they're, they're already starting to go up and they're apparently starting to become in, in high demand. So um, I, I, I take it back. I, there were a lot that were on sale and I've never seen that before. And I did see a few people buying them. Um, I don't know how like quickly they went or anything like that granted and i only went for just the saturday i didn't go on the sunday so i don't know what was left or anything like that but uh it was it was kind of weird to see how many and how much there was of nintendo power uh magazines there it was crazy so anyways uh these are the games i got for uh for wii u i got disney planes spongebob squarepants uh plankton's robotic revenge i'll be honest i don't know anything about spongebob so sorry uh, Batman Arkham Origins, DreamWorks Penguins Madagascar, uh, Transformers Prime, this one I'm happy to have because I've been looking for it but didn't want to pay much for it, uh, and that is Super Luigi U. I technically already had it because it comes bundled with uh, uh, Mario, um, but I wanted this as well because it's part of the complete run. Um, another one I'm really happy to have, and I, I'm, I'm so glad I was able to actually snag this, and that is the SteamWorld collection, which includes SteamWorld Heist and SteamWorld Dig a Fistful of Dirt. Uh, yeah, and I'm, these are actually games that I will most likely play because they look really, really cool. Uh, that's a, it's a tough to find one, though. Um, Angry Birds Star Wars. <laughs> I'm like still kind of blown away that they moved Angry Birds over to consoles. I've never played one on console. I've only played it on my phone, but um, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations, Adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon because I don't know, Terraria, which is honestly a great game, um, I just prefer to play it on PC, uh, but cool to have it still. Uh, this is one I was talking about, Resident Evil Revelations, you can see the $25 sticker on there, but he gave it to me for $20, which was nice, um, so got that, and Rise of the Guardians from DreamWorks. As well as another DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda uh, Showdown of Legendary Legends. So, like I said, most of those I will more than likely never play because um, I've either played elsewhere or I just don't have any interest. But I am, like I said, at 99 games uh, at for the full run. So I, I was kicking myself because I didn't know off the top of my head how many I had. Um, and then when I got home and I, I added them to my, my master list... I counted and I was like, "Damn, I should have bought one more just to make it an even hundred. So, but I'm sure I'll, I'll get that at some point, obviously. Um, so these other games that I got are basically just games that I have bought over the past few months um, that are just were like tough to find at one point or tough to find at the right price. I waited for sales discounts and everything like that. <coughs> um, and so I. Uh, as soon as I saw them, um, I, I pulled the trigger on. Uh, so first up, we've got... Uh, this is actually a recommendation from uh, several people in uh, my Discord. Um, so come hang out with us if you want to. we got some, some good people in there that, that like talking games and stuff. Uh, but that is Danganronpa uh, Decadence. I believe it comes with, um, yeah, four games on here. So super stoked to get that on the Switch. Um, that may or may not be one of the games I'll be playing next year on my Backlog Blitz. Uh, so just a heads up. Um, another one, uh, one that I'm probably going to try and play this year, at least the first one, because I've never played one, and these games look so unique, and I, I'm just so curious about it. That is the Pikmin 1 and 2 uh, combo pack that they did. I, I think that's such a cool idea, so I'm super happy to have that. Um, and I definitely think I'll be checking out Pikmin 1 here pretty soon. Um, I'm currently playing Starfield, and I... I have a, 
I don't have a lot to say. It's like, I mean, the Starfield is good. I think it would have been better if it had come out like 10 to 15 years ago. Um... I don't mean that it couldn't do well now, I just mean more like because I've played games like Star Citizen and uh, No Man's Sky, and the amount of loading screens in Starfield compared to those two games is like, I mean, it's like night and day. Uh, so it's, it's that's my biggest gripe with it. I, I like like exploring the areas and flying around the ship, I love customizing the ship and all that stuff. It's really, really neat, but just the loading screens, there's so many of them, and it takes so long to travel from point A to point B, even with fast traveling. Um, it's just kind of, eh, like like I said, when you've experienced stuff that's better than that already, and then you go on to this, it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I kind of get in the same sentiment when I'm looking at people's reviews online. Um, it's, you either love it, you hate it. Um, or you're kind of in my camp where, like, the game's good, but there's some pretty big drawbacks to it. So, um, either way, but yeah, let me, let me know what you think about uh, Starfield. I've talked to a couple people, but um, I, because there's so many different opinions on it, I'd like to hear what people think. Um, next is a game that I just saw. I don't even know where. I think it randomly came up, like, in my suggested on uh, YouTube, and I was like, I don't even know if this is any good. Uh, I don't know if anybody's played this or anything like that, but it looked unique to me. Um, and it looked like kind of like a strategy, tactical-ish RPG combined almost with like board game mechanics or something. And that is Battle Hunter on PlayStation. It was super cheap. Um, I just thought it looked neat. Uh, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure I'll, I'll give it a shot at some point. Um, it's even got like multiplayer, like, Multi, with a multi-tab, one to four players, which is interesting to me. So, I don't know, if anybody knows anything about this game, I'd love to hear more. Um, that's Battle Hunter on uh, PlayStation, PS1. Um, another game that I've been curious about for a while that I was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the HD collection. That is Zone of the Enders. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to, to check this out at some point and, and see what it's like, because it, it has always intrigued me, and I've, I've not heard, like, things in depth about it, but I have heard it talked about quite a bit as as one of those like classic games that uh, that just doesn't get a ton of attention but the people that do know it love it so um, yeah I'm, I'm definitely excited to, to try that out oh and it includes a demo of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance so there's that um, got a few PS4 games here uh, yeah uh, so first up is a game I've been wanting for a while because I'm a massive fan of the series especially back in the Sega Genesis and that is Streets of Rage 4. I haven't played it yet. Obviously, it's still in the plastic wrap, but I am super excited too because this series is just has always been so much fun to me. So, um, yeah, can't wait to, to check that out at some point. Um, next up is Trails from Zero. I am super excited to get into this because I've been playing my way through the Trails series. I finished the first uh, Trails in the Sky trilogy, so I'm ready to start moving on to the other games in there, and I can't wait to check this out eventually. Um... So there's been everybody's been talking about uh, Baldur's Gate three. I have not played it yet. I plan on doing it like towards the end of the year, um, grabbing it like maybe around Christmas or something like that when work is slow and you know we have days where we're letting us off early and that kind of stuff. And I have more time where I don't have to like take time off work because I don't like doing that to play video games. I know some people do. I just I'm, I'm not typically one of those people. I have. I'm not gonna lie. I have, um, but I'm not typically one of those people. Um, I can't wait to play that but in the meantime I was like man it looks so cool and I really want to try like other games in that vein of like almost like Dungeons and Dragons tabletop style role-playing kind of things I know these are these are like lesser of that but these are games that I had heard of a while ago that I, I wanted to check out and I want to try and I was like you know what these are super cheap right now I'm just gonna pick them up so I picked up uh, Torment Tides of Numeria uh, Neverwinter Nights, the Enhanced Edition, which I know is, is a long game from what I understand, but I really have been wanting to play this. Um, I would love to play this multiplayer with, like, people, because um, it's just... I've played it solo on PC, and I always lose interest because I'm like, this would be a lot more fun with other people. Um, I don't know, but I really want to play this at some point, so I'm, I'm happy to have that. I'm thinking maybe if I have it on console, I'll be more apt to play it because I don't spend a ton of time in front of my uh, PC, unless I'm playing an MMO like uh, Final Fantasy XIV or something like that. So I don't know, we'll see. 
And then I got the on Xbox One Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Enhanced Editions, um, just because I was like, I, I should try the other two as well at some point. This is one of those times where I'm more than likely going to play a third one first, but I will definitely be checking those out at some point too. Um, okay, PS5 games. Uh, so first one up is a game, uh, Lamont, shout out to you, sir, for uh, finding this uh, on Best Buy. They had it for the price I was looking for. I didn't want to pay the 60 bucks or whatever it was, but he was able to find it for 40 on BestBuy.com and shot me the link, and I was like, done. So I picked up Resident 4 Evil Remake for my list. I was able to beat it. This game is awesome. I loved it. It was amazing. I'll talk more about it in my uh, review videos coming up. Um, so... Definitely, definitely happy that I, I was able to get that and, and play through it. Uh, next, funny enough, uh, Lamont was the one that showed me this a while ago, and I picked this up months ago, but that is uh, Chorus. Um, it's, it's space stuff. Uh, so I don't know a lot about it, but like when I looked up gameplay footage and stuff, I just was so intrigued. I definitely want to try this out at some point because it looks so cool, and it was not expensive. So I snagged it, and uh, yeah, happy to have that. Uh, another one that I've been wanting since last year when it first came out, and that is the Dio Field Chronicle. Uh, a friend of mine actually just finished this game, said it was pretty solid. So the story was a little, you know, it was fine, um, but the gameplay was super unique. So I'm, I'm definitely excited to try this out, too, because I've been, I've been wanting to check this one out. Um, so, yeah, happy to have that. And finally, I, this game has been compared to, like, Secret of Man and stuff, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I haven't had tons of interest in it, but they have, like, this box edition, and it, like, never went up in price. It was, at least from when I started looking at it, it was always super cheap. So I was like, what the hell? I still haven't even opened it. But that is Trinity Trigger. I'm really curious to know more about this as well. Um, and this also has uh, a local co-op for, for three people. Um, so if it is, like, Secret of Mana, if anybody's played this, let me know, because I, I definitely want to know more about this. I'm curious. I love the box art. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I definitely can't wait to check this out uh, and, uh, and, and, and get to it. Um, so yeah, let me know, as usual, when I do these pickup videos, anything on this list. If you've played it, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think, if there's anything I need to get to, get to ASAP. Um, and that includes Starfield as well. If you have played Starfield, let me know what you think, because I'm curious as to people that watch my channel, uh, what, what their thoughts are on it. Um, other than that, um, I do have some more videos coming up. I'm going to be doing a different format with my uh, rapid-fire reviews of my list of 20 games that I played for the year. I'm going to rank them <laughs> and do mini reviews that way in, in a couple of videos. Um, it's almost going to be structured like I did my top 100, where I do five per video. Uh, so look for that coming in the next couple weeks. Um, I'm super excited to get those out, and then I've also already got my list written for next year, so I will be... Uh, once those are done, I will be showcasing that and, and, and uh, letting everybody know what games I'll be playing for next year. Um, yeah, I, I finally at a point where I can play more and stuff, so um, I'm, I've been trying to do that. <sighs> Man, thank you so much for watching. It's good to be back. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here, and um, yeah, come hang out with us in the Discord and all that stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you again for watching, and as always, keep on gaming.